My field is, is called behavioral economics, and what we try to do is bring together insights from psychology on the one hand and economics on the other in order to get a really deep understanding of the way that people make decisions. My name is John Bashirs. I teach behavioral economics and negotiation at Harvard Business School. One project I've worked on has been trying to address a problem that a lot of people face in their companies. You offer something that's a benefit to your employees and they don't take it up, despite the fact that it is in their best interest to do so. So a very concrete example is a company that we worked with is a, is a utility company. So th this company was very interested in increasing engagement in influenza vaccinations that were being offered to employees for free. And so what we decided to do is embed what we call a planning prompt. What a planning prompt means is we give you the suggestion that if you form a more concrete plan for following through on this on this beneficial action, you're 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 going to be more likely to do it. So they say, I'm going to get my flu shot on Tuesday, January 26th at 3 p.m. when I'm on a, a coffee break. So zero incremental cost, we can increase the influenza vaccination rate. There is indeed a movement afoot. Uh, you can call it the, the nudge movement. You can call it the behavioral insights movement. And the United States very recently has started what's called the Social and Behavioral Sciences Team, which falls under the executive branch, uh, Barack Obama. Governments are increasingly catching on that this is a way of achieving policy objectives while not breaking the bank doing so.